Hi YouTube, this is Gear Grumsrud and I just want to show you my 40 gallon planted tank. Um, I've been running DIY CO2 for the last month or so and uh, I can tell you that I can see a considerable, considerable improvement in this tank just in the uh, plant growth and uh, the lack of algae in this tank. But prior to CO2, I had I just had this tank was covered with in algae and it, I, I was starting to hate it. Um, I, you know, I had high light. I dosed with Flourish Excel, Ferts, and all that. But you know, I would still get algae, and I still have algae on here. But compared to um, before when I didn't dose with uh, CO2, um, every week I just have to scrub algae off the glass and just, you know, get depressed over my algae problem. But um, since I did deal CO2, I just want to show you um, these Coriambosa leaves have no algae on them whatsoever and if you look at the older leaves they have a little bit of algae and uh, even these top newer ones don't have algae new Madagascar lace leaf no algae the older leaves do have algae um, I just want to show you this Reineke plant Reineke and uh, look how red that is I've, it wasn't growing like that prior to CO2 and also this crypt is like this crypt is a lot younger than my low-tech um, crypts and I've, I haven't seen growth like that it's just growing like crazy and all the uh, Amazon plants um, doing good but just overall improvement and I'm thinking about adding another bottle of DIY CO2 for this end over here since I got the diffuser over on this end. And uh, I might do a video on making a DIY because the, the ones out there are, aren't that great. Um, just to show people. Um, and uh, so if you're thinking about DIY CO2, I'd definitely go for it just to help with uh, algae problems or if you want more growth. Um, but also some minor things I've also been doing are limiting the light level and also um, dosing with some fertilizer. Well, I was doing that before, so... Um, but less light and it's just I don't know I, I'm liking my planted tank now again uh, there's still algae on here and I think it'll go away if I add another CO2 bottle uh, I might even you know fork up some money for a planted or for a pressurized CO2 later on down the line but I think it's just so easy to do that um, I'll stick with the DIY right now. So anyway, um, I will talk to you guys later and thanks for watching.